400 billion is the cost of laws estimated by what color crimes in the United States in 2016, according to FBI. This is 20 times more than traditional property crime as burglary, larceny, and robbery. I learned with my research that people from high class commit a lot of harmful against society and they can get away from authorities. The root of the problem is impunity. Most of us have dealing with an unethical seller that the only, one, only thing that they want is deceived to sell. That happen in all level and direction of our society. Car insurance, loan mortgage, even in the supermarket with the fake uh, advertising like fake organic labels, the government funds. According to Connect to the Air Charter, section number four, Democracy, No Violence and Peace, chapter 15, a straightened democracy institution at all levels, letter E, eliminate corruption in public and private institutions. Today, I'm going to increase your knowledge about these kind of crimes, and we are going to try to find a sustainable solution. So, we are now detectives, and let's go to investigate our first case. According to New York Times, Color, white collar crime is growing because Justice Department fails to prosecute executives. One of the biggest examples, Goldman Sachs, CEO Lloyd Banfield, he has never been he has never been prosecuted um, by cause the financial crisis in 2008. He's still the CEO of Goldman Sachs. Um, he he doesn't pay. He has never been in carceration, no fines against the person that caused a uh, collapse in the worldwide economy and cost to United States more than a million employees. So, according to the Attorney General Eric Holder, told that some financial institution had become so large that it makes it difficult for us to prosecute them. According to Washington Post, Trump goes easy on white collar crimes and has given pardon to several criminals. We can see this graphic. This is are the prosecution over the last two years uh, against white collar crimes. And we can see that Trump's presidency uh, fell down in a record low so because some of these criminals are friends of our president. 2,000 American workers died in the last 10 years as a result of willful violation of safety laws by employers according to the Department of Labor. This picture is from Medellin, Colombia we can see how an uh, entire building collapsed because the contractor, the developer, uh, didn't fit the security requirements to build this building. What happened? 50 people died. So our second clue lead, leads to the different types of what color crime. The first one is the antitrust violation, uh, for example, monopolist practice and illegal competition. Uh, for instance, uh, the price fixing, uh, for example, if the providers of uh, public schools in the United States fix the price of the meal that they provide to the schools, that's a uh, monopolist practice and is illegal. The most common kind of white color crimes is against us, the consumers. This, for example, this is a Bernie Madoff. He deceived many people and is known to run the biggest fraudulent scheme in the United States history. 
Another kind of consumer fraud is deceit in marketing. Bait and switch advertising, for example, you are looking for a car, you see an amazing car with a really low price and you go to the, to the car dealer. When you arrive there, the dealer say, oh, I'm sorry that car was sold, but we are going to offer this one that is so similar, only is $5,000 more its price. So it's a way to uh, deceive the cons cons consumers. Mislabel products and misleading advertising, for example, uh, say that some products have more vitamins that they really have, so, or uh, try to make the, the products uh, more attractive than they really add. For example, the fake organic labels. Real estate fraud, for example, when a, um, a real estate license or associate doesn't disclose, don't disclose full information about the real situation, condition of the real property. Repairs fraud, when the victim is charged with unnecessary repairs or charity and advocacy fraud, the victims think that they are contribute to a noble cause, cause, but the reality is that the thieves is gonna keep with all the money, the person that is getting the, the money. Another kind, for example, extortion. I learned that there is difference between extortion and blackmail. Extortion is an illegal demand by a public officer and blackmail is a legal demand by a non-public officer. Bribery is giving money or property to, in order to change the mind or the judgment of a person in favor of the giver. Perjury is false testimony and embezzlement is more common than we think is when, uh, for example, uh, when a person as associate use the money of their customers for a different use that they are was in trust. And the final thing is that I'm, I'm really scared about this situation more in Latin America according to Transparency International half of the resource on economical supports for people during the coronavirus crisis it's gonna be lost because of corruption. So now, finally, it's time to catch these perpetrators. So there are some sustainable solutions. Uh, they have three approach. Uh, the first one is focus on the punishment. The second one is to enhance the company culture. And the third one, is focusing the government measure. According to the business department of Stanford University, effective solution is the threat of prison. These people are willing to pay any quantity of money to avoid prison. So the best way to, to combat them is with their fear to prison. There are the, the second point of view is about the private sector, the companies. Sometimes companies push their employees so much to, to the results and uh, produce a lot of money. And sometimes uh, they push them to uh, unethical practice. So the best way to avoid that is encourage employees to act ethically and legally and uh, that's increased to bounce back from any illicit action that do occur. The RICO Act, the Congress passed the Rector Influence and Corrupt Organization RICO Act in 1970 in order to, to combat the organized crimes. I learned that the broad language of the Act has resulted in an increasing number of lawsuits against ordinary business person not associated with organized crime. Another government measure 
eh, strain de federal agencies such as FBI or Department of Justice to make effective the policy to identify and punish the white-collar crimes and increase the prosecution of white-collar crimes. So, today, I increase your knowledge about the different types of white-collar crimes and their impact in our society. We find different solutions, um, one, creating a culture that encourages employees to act ethically, additionally, to punish directly the people that commit crimes, with incarceration and a deep commitment of the government to prosecute these criminals. Thank you so much for your time.